We're in a run of the few films that I've actually seen on this list. Pacific Rim is a banger. I'm wasting no time in saying that. It is a banger of the highest order. Every aspect works so well and I love it. The story is pretty much just kaiju fight big robot. There's not much depth here. The most emotional the story gets is the revelation about Mako's past. This film is concentrated on being the best dumb movie that it can possibly be, and it excels at that. It's continually engaging, and the writing plays it with such a straight face that you believe in the world of the movie rather than being taken out of it by the dumbassery. The performances are all decent. I wouldn't say there's anything Oscar-worthy, but there doesn't need to be. I like seeing Idris Elba in things, and obviously he's great here. He's really good as the commanding, yet caring, stacker Pentecost. And I will say that him going out in a blaze of glory manages to stir something other than the oh, that's badass in you. Although it is still very badass. Sensei, I stay mas. Similarly, Charlie Day is delightful in everything that he is in, and again, he's wonderful here. I like seeing him. He brings a comic relief to the film that I don't think it especially needed. It's funny enough as is, but I'm happy he's here. This movie is also just gorgeous. This is how Mako is introduced to us. That is one of the most aesthetically pleasing umbrellas that I've ever seen, and this is just what vibe this movie is on all of the time. The cityscapes are neon drenched, which from trailers seems to be what the modern kaiju films are doing also. It's all just really gorgeous. Hell, the monsters neon drench themselves with their own bioluminescence. The cameras, and I need to clarify that I'm talking about the virtual cameras in action scenes, have a real weight to them and feel very grounded as a result. This is obviously a point that everyone raises, but I really like that they made the effort to make it feel like this was something that was actually shot rather than this just being some crazy virtual camera doing moves that no camera could possibly do. The fights also have this real weight to them, and again, this is a point that everyone raises, so I'll make it quick. But the decision to make them have this weight really makes you feel like these are some big-ass robots fighting some big-ass monsters. But everyone talks about that, so I'll just list some moments that make me happy here. The calibration movements, the boat sword, the container knuckle duster, the actual sword popping out. It's all a lot of fun and it knows what it is doing. The soundtrack. How dare you try and criticise this soundtrack. It rocks so hard and I love it so much. This is very much the sound you want to hear when you're in some big ass robot suit going to fight some big ass monsters. Hell yeah! I've praised this whole thing throughout. I don't feel like I need much of a wrap up. It's just a straight banger through and through. The fact that our primary Jaeger is named after what is now commonly considered to be a slur is uncomfortable, but that's really not something that I can comment on. I will defer to the relevant peoples for that one. Next up for me is the start of the modern monsterverse with 2014's Godzilla, directed by Gareth Edwards. 